everybody and welcome back to another max velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be going over that massive winter storm that continues to rumble across portions of the united states we'll also be going over the arctic plunge and what you can expect for christmas eve and christmas day here in the united states and we'll also be going over the potential for a massive lake effect snow event that could bring upwards of 80 inches of snow all of those situations and more will be in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening here across the United States today, which begins with the large-scale trough over the eastern half of the United States, and this thing has been bringing a load of snow, but most importantly, blizzard-like conditions that is creating hazardous travel, and not just that, but extremely cold wind chills are continuing across a large chunk of the United States this morning, and it will likely go all the way through Christmas Day, so it's going to be a really cold next three days here in the United States, and for some of you, it could very well be a record-breaking Christmas for low temperatures. All right, we have a lot of watches and warnings still ongoing in the United States, including a swarm of blizzard warnings from Michigan all the way back through areas in the Dakotas, and you may be able to pick out a couple other areas in New York that are currently actually issued into blizzard warnings on their own. That is for that potential for a massive lake effect snow event that we'll talk about later in this forecast. Beyond that, we still have winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories still ongoing. High wind warnings are in effect back into New England. That's for that potential for wind gusts up to 60 to 80 miles per hour definitely a very dangerous day coming up there in terms of power outages and as well as those winds and also a very close look at things still we have a lot of warnings out there blizzard warnings are those red boxes still ongoing there in western and northern portions of michigan also back through the western midwest into new england and anywhere in the northeast again here are your blizzard warnings primarily near buffalo new york and as well as watertown new york on the other hand again high wind warnings are in effect for those over in new england and even some flood watches as rain will continue there for the next 24 to 48 hours. Winds will really pick up today. Again, we're going to have high winds upwards of 40 to 50 miles per hour across the Midwest. This will create that potential for blizzard-like conditions. A lot of drifting with this snow today is expected. So if you can, avoid roadways, especially if you're in the Midwest. Going into Saturday, wind will continue. It won't nearly be as bad as Friday, but I would still expect some hazardous conditions on the roadways. By Sunday, the wind should start to die down a bit more. So if you have any plans for Christmas Day, you may be able to travel by then safely in comparison to what we'll see at least for today and tomorrow. And for those that don't want any more snow, it is beginning to wind down in those inland areas. However, there will be more lake effect snow during the afternoon and evening today, especially for those along Lake Michigan and anywhere back up in the Upper Michigan Peninsula. Winds are going to be coming out of the north and as well as the west northwest will create the potential for some lake effect snow, especially in areas like western Michigan. So make Make sure you're aware of this. This will create, again, a lot of blowing snow out there with how high the wind gusts will be. And this lake effect snow will go all the way through Saturday night, should start to wind down by Sunday morning across most of Michigan. Also going closer to Michigan, this is, again, a little bit of a timing guide for you. Again, lake effect snow for Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, through the evening hours into tomorrow morning and eventually going to Saturday afternoon. It should start to wind down. So, again, by late Christmas Eve, we'll start to see a lot less snowfall, maybe up in northern Michigan still. But other than that, it should again start to wind down overall snowfall totals if you're in western michigan you'll probably see upwards of again a half a foot to a foot of snow back over in the upper michigan peninsula there is a possibility for upwards of one two maybe even upwards of two and a half feet of snow in those areas so again a lot of snow is still to come from the lake effect snow over in ohio rest of the morning just some light snow back over near cleveland and youngstown this will all clear up by the afternoon maybe a little bit of lake effect snow if you're in northern cleveland so right along lake erie it shouldn't be too much though uh eventually going to Saturday morning still a couple of snowflakes still out there it should start to wind down by Saturday afternoon so again snowfall accumulation not going to be too much more than what it already is there in the northeast Ohio overall wind chills again it's really frigid out there we're talking 30 to 40 degrees below zero across the Midwest this will continue through Christmas Eve morning so for those that have any plans then wind chills will still be in the 20s and 30s below zero across those areas and for those in the southeast some areas like Florida and as well as the east coast have not yet seen this cold front this morning it will all change though here pretty soon that cold front will roll through pretty quickly by saturday morning areas in florida could be plunging into the teens for feel like temperatures due to the wind so it's going to get very cold current wind chills for at least saturday morning which this is really really cold this is not usual this is the first time in three decades that florida has seen something like this wind chills could get down into the teens potentially near the single digits to the west of tallahassee so again it will be getting very cold in those areas and all the way 
coming back through the east coast even new england areas like boston still in the 40s this morning for temperatures it will not last that long though by tomorrow morning or at least late tonight into tomorrow morning wind chills will drop to zero if not below zero degrees in those areas and eventually going into christmas eve again it will feel very cold out there it shouldn't really get anywhere above zero degrees for a wind chill temperature back over new england going into saturday so again very cold weather ahead all right let's talk about the big event that could be coming over the next 48 to 72 hours and that's the lake effect snow event so the rest of this morning into the afternoon we'll still have some scattered light to moderate snow maybe even a couple bands of heavy snow across the state of new york and eventually upstate new york might get in on a little bit of that but the big concern is that the winds will be coming out of the west southwest or even the southwest this will create the potential for lake effect snow right along lake erie and that'll direct itself right towards buffalo new york and potentially just west of rochester so a really really critical couple of days is coming up here in terms of lake effect snow and this is expected to on go all the way through saturday and potentially into sunday for christmas day also another band of lake effect snow is expected maybe just north of watertown new york so if you're just north of there a lot of snow could be falling up there as well going into saturday afternoon all the way through sunday morning lake effect snow should start to drift a bit further to the south by then but a good chunk about a good 48 hours at least of snow is expected there in buffalo new york and the big impact of this as well will be the wind gusts right along lake erie winds will be upwards of 60 to 70 miles per hour so blowing snow is expected especially in buffalo so again travel impacts are going to be a, a substantial again really do not travel unless it's an emergency and even wind gusts back over into new england will be upwards of 70 to 80 miles per hour this morning should wind down into the 40s and 50s for wind gusts going into this afternoon so what are we talking about in terms of snowfall well it could get very significant areas near buffalo new york could get upwards of 60 to 70 inches of snow uh current forecasted amount right now for buffalo probably between three to four feet however again that could be even a little bit higher near watertown and just north of there i do expect the highest snowfall totals to just be slightly north of watertown probably going to be somewhere there around about two to three feet as well hrr model as well these are two different computer models hrr is bringing the potential for upwards of 70 to maybe 75 inches as well with buffalo near 65 inches of snow so again a lot of snow is probably ahead for those areas and i would definitely expect at least a few feet if not potentially several feet of snow and to finish it off the holidays are here christmas eve does look to be very cold for most of the united states again winds will be pretty strong so wind chills much lower than this but temperatures across the country ranging anywhere from sub-zero back into the dakotas all the way into the 80s potentially in southern california eventually going into christmas day the morning hours will be very cold we're talking about single digits and teens for a large chunk of the united states and eventually by the afternoon hours some good news coming you might need some hot cocoa but other than that it will still be pretty cold across areas in the midwest and the northeast with a bit more mild weather down in texas and florida make sure to like button down below subscribe if you've not already this forecast is brought to my platinum contracting